Good morning. I think we need to hit the audio record button over there. Good morning, everyone. Happy, what day is it today? <laughs> Hump day. Today's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, I don't know. I feel kind of tight. Like, no, 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 you're fine. <laughs> Maybe it's just because it's really hot. Good morning, Bill from 324 Finds. Happy Wednesday. What's on the agenda for today? What are you going to be doing on this beautiful Wednesday? Um, I have a cup of coffee. Have you had your coffee yet? Good morning, Leslie. Long time no see. How you doing today? Happy Wednesday. Um, anybody having coffee? This is my first cup. I might have another one after this. I look forward to coming on here every day, talking about reselling things with you guys and downing this delicious cup of coffee. What was on, um, ooh, okay. So Reseller's Passion says she's drinking her coffee now. Good morning, Blue Sky Style One. What are you guys drinking? What are you guys doing? It's uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 30 in the East Coast, still morning. Aw, that is so stinking Thank sweet. Thank you. Uh, a resource passion says, good morning to my favorite ladies. You are just the sweetest person on the planet, Leslie. Um, you know, you guys are you guys are interacting um, with all the resellers, and we love you guys so much, too. Leslie from Resellers Passion, Bill, 324 Finds. And today, we're going to be talking about Grailed. Um, Blue Sky Style One says, drinking water with, with ice, ice. So, so exciting, right? <laughs> hey, that's really healthy. Oh. You gotta stay hydrated. Coffee actually dehydrates. It's right? exciting when it's like 100 degrees. I feel like it's 100 degrees. How are you wearing a, a hoodie right now? I don't <laughs> it's so know. hot. How, um, I don't know where you guys um, are, how, how the weather is. How's the weather in Washington and Delaware? And Blue Sky Style One, where are you mm -hmm. from? Here in Southern California, it's going to be ridiculously hot. It's going to be 100 degrees today. I, I saw on the weather report. Oh, uh, so I do not like that. That's not something, Maybe I shouldn't be complaining, but I don't like it. It's June. I guess summer is early. So if you guys have any questions during this uh, live, if you want to um, us to uh, show everyone your question or comment, hit the little question mark sticker below. So I'm gonna pin up the topic while you, Michelle asks you guys this question. So Blue Style, Blue Sky Style one says it's only 90 in Miami. Um, wow, California is warmer than Miami. Um, so today we're gonna talk about talk about Grailed. Um, yesterday we touched upon Tracy, uh, which is a women focused platform, and Grailed it's actually for men. Um, do you guys sell on? Grail, have you? Do you guys know anything about it? Have you guys um, sold anything on there? Good morning, Trish Van Ninety Nine. So, I think where I don't even know how we heard about Grail. I think we started. We actually picked up a lot of men's clothes in the beginning, and um, I think we just overheard that Grail is like um, a platform that sells mainly streetwear. Um, sneaker. So we started selling a couple of items on there. So a reseller's passion says it's going to be a high of 80 degrees here in Delaware. That's crazy. And That's then nice. Trish Van 99 is from Arizona. I wonder how hot it's going to be there today. Oh, Arizona will be hot. All right. So Grailed, uh, it's the one-stop shop destination for buying, selling, and exploring menswear. There are 3.7 million users. Yeah. Um, so that's that's quite a lot. You know, it's something to consider. And Michelle and I, we like selling uh, menswear, a lot of menswear, streetwear, surfwear, skatewear, because like, I don't know, like I grew up here in Southern California and I, you know, I like skating, I like surfing, I like all that stuff. And it's just so much easier to to for us to find men's clothing i feel like it's easier than women's clothing i don't know what you guys think i feel like it's easier to sell i, I that it might be easier to sell i feel too. like men negotiate less i don't know why <laughs> i don't know if you guys find it true but let us know i feel like um usually when we sell men's clothes they just buy it or they make one offer and that's it yeah, yeah, either they, they want it or not, or yeah. they, they don't even offer, they just buy it straight out. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, so we're wondering, do you guys, 
uh, sell any men's wear and what kind of items do you guys currently sell? So again, we like selling um, what we mentioned. Beach wear. A moment ago, yeah. And we also like selling Tommy Bahama a lot. That does really well for us, even though it's like an older men's, um, you know, kind of style. Yeah. But Hawaiian shirts, I guess, are coming back a little bit. Um, and Bill from 324 Fine says, my men's have been selling on Posh. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, they're trying to expand their men's market as well with their yeah. kicks like shoe section and everything yeah when we talked to the i believe i believe it was manish he talked about he wanting to expand um actually no it's the marketing uh the head of marketing at poshmark when i talked to him at posh fest um you know they were thinking of like rebranding to make it more men focused because currently poshmark is a little bit skewed towards more feminine um so i believe that is really their goal a reseller's passion said, I agree with Michelle. Men is men just straight straight out. Just buy straight out. I sell men's shoes, board shorts, and graphic t-shirts most. How cool. We do that too. We love selling graphic t-shirts. Um, they're inexpensive to buy and they sell at really decent prices. Blue Scout Style One said, I just started selling men's. Right on. Um, three two four fine says today sold North Face long sleeve T shirt and or shirt and a Patagucci base layer. Nice. Um, you have really really cool stuff in your closet, Bill. We're checking it out the other day, um, and it's so cool how you and Tori model. You, I mean, that's just awesome. <laughs> um, okay, very cool. Yeah, um, board shorts are hot right now, right? That yeah. summer, um, those those sell year round for sure. So some of the most Popular brands on Grail would be Supreme. I'm sure you guys have heard of that brand. Um, Gucci, uh, I believe this is a bathing ape. Um, they're mostly like skater streetwear brands and they're mostly high end. Um, so if you want to buy a gift for someone that's, you know, high end and um, you want to get a good deal, Grail is really a good website for that. Yep, and Blue Sky Style Ones is asking about the brand Vineyard Vines. Oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah, um, I've heard of the brand. Um, so I don't know if you guys know and you know who are uh, who are live with us now about the question Vineyard Vines. I don't think that's you know like it's kind of like a polo Ralph Lauren style. Um, they do a lot of polos with a little whale. You know, oh yeah, vines, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah if you know if it's semi high end or high end you can definitely put it on grill mm -hmm. yeah we have a couple of like skater sweatshirts on there that we're selling for over a hundred dollars so that's like kind of the kind yeah. of stuff you want to put on there palace um rip and dip those brands are really popular all righty here we go oh um go back oh did we miss one yeah. thing sorry so um for commission Grail takes 6% off of your commission, um, doesn't matter how much the item is. And in addition, it's similar to eBay, they take a 2.9% eBay uh, PayPal fee plus 30 cents PayPal per item. Fee. Per, per item. item, yeah. This is, the commission is pretty low as you can see. And um, again, you're gonna get more bang for your buck on this platform for men's wear that you would get in like Poshmark or eBay for the most part, and look at the nice commissions are so low, very similar to Etsy's. Good morning, Mama Ventures. Uh, so Bill just said that he mostly sold women's vineyard shorts, mm -hmm. and I think his platform is gonna be Poshmark, Poshmark that he usually sells on. So do you guys have any questions about the commissions and the structure? We're gonna move on to uh, shipping now. So shipping is interesting for Grailed. Uh, not unlike Poshmark, they basically send you a label. You have to manually put in the cost for your shipping. Um, and the thing about Grailed is that they shipped internationally too. So uh, you're, you know, they pre-fill the information for you on the website. Um, but definitely you gotta kind of keep an eye on how much shipping would cost to other countries. So um, in general, for the U.S., they put in $8. So as a buyer, everything is free shipping basically on the website. The seller is responsible for it. The seller needs to pay shipping? Yes. So, okay. So something to keep in mind when you're pricing your items. Exactly. Because the shipping is going to come out of pocket 
from the seller. Blue Sky Style One says, my brothers are looking for things. I'll tell them about girl. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely a dude's uh, platform. So that was very intelligent of them to get on there. I think Poshmark, you know, they're... They have no competition at the moment, Grail, except Poshmark is trying to get in there, so that's really smart as well. There is StockX, but it's a little different. StockX is like just shoes, right? Yeah. This one includes clothes and yeah. all of that as well. Um, I guess my question with the shipping was, do they have um, a, calcu a shipping calculator the way that eBay does? So eBay, you can put in the dimensions of the box of the item. Yeah. You can put in the package style, like is it an envelope or a box? Yeah. And you can put in the weight. Unfortunately, no. Um, the good thing about eBay is they give you a discount. So they, they have these deals with um, Postal USPS. But Grail, you're pretty much on your own to deal with shipping. So whether you use Pirate Ship or you just go to the post office, um, you're responsible for paying whatever cost that is. Got it. So I guess my question is, if the seller is paying, why is there a need to put in a shipping price? So you could, so depending on where the seller is from, let's say the seller is from UK, they're going to automatically add $25 to the item. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Grailed will add the shipping cost to the price of the item. Yeah, depending on where they're from. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. That's kind of cool. That kind of, <laughs> I, I kind of like that. Yeah, because we recently started doing free shipping on eBay. It's like something we're trying. We used to always charge and our sales were okay, but we want to see if that's going to bump up our sales. So, yeah. um, and we're, are we doing that on Mercari as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, question, how many of you guys do free shipping right now? Or are you paying or do you let your customers pay for shipping if you're selling on eBay or Mercari? Okay, so um, here is a pro. We're gonna start with the pros and cons. Uh, pro is they do they don't charge a lot of fees. So if you think about it, six percent plus you know the two point nine percent is not a lot compared to Poshmark. Poshmark takes twenty percent. So for example, this morning um, Mercari takes ten percent and Poshmark takes twenty percent. You could sell an item for a little bit um, less on Mercari because you're going to get more. Um, so in that sense, if you have the same item listed on Grail and Poshmark, you could definitely adjust your pricing according to your payout. So a resource passion answered our question. Thank you. She said, I offer free shipping for everything on Mercari. I just adjust my price accordingly. Awesome. Thanks for letting cool. us know. So yeah, definitely we're exploring the free shipping because you know, there's Amazon Prime that people spend like a hundred dollars a year for a membership and yeah. they get all free shipping. The shipping is fast. And as resellers, as competition with them, we, we kind of, I guess, have to be competitive in our, yeah. in our shipping, right? Which is like free shipping. So yeah. yeah, let's see what happens with that. So if you guys are buying sneakers, selling sneakers, Grailed is a good place. Uh, there, is a, there is a big difference between Grailed and StockX. StockX only sells new shoes. So you cannot sell anything used on StockX. Uh, whereas Grailed, um, basically they have a huge sneaker selections there. So that's definitely a platform for you to sell sneakers. So Bill from 324Fine says we do with Prime. It's worth it for us. Yeah, 100%. Totally worth it. We mm -hmm. have it too. We do. And we order on Amazon like every day almost. So. <laughs> you get boxes. <laughs> yeah, we get a lot of boxes from Amazon for free. Uh, Grail, some of the pros are the buyer and seller protection. So on any platform, it's important to have buyer and seller protection um, just to make things are, make sure things are clean. Um, so if anything goes wrong, every transaction conducted on Grailed with PayPal um, are eligible for a refund. So uh, again, you guys are familiar with PayPal protection. They have seller and buyer protection. So you're covered, which yep. is a nice thing to have. Yeah. Um, a research passion says, I agree with Bill. I love Prime. Plus you can watch free videos and listen to free music. Good point. I mean, we don't really use Amazon Video. We should use it more. I mean, I watch like a couple shows, like Fabulous Mrs. Maisel is like one of my favorite shows on Prime, and um, The Man in the High Tower. That's one of my favorite shows on Prime. So, good morning, Shelly T. How you doing? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. How's everything going today? 
All right, so another another pro, Michelle, uh, authentication service. Exactly. So they do check the labels, they check the patterns. Um, similar to Trade C, they actually look at your item to see if it's legit, and if they don't think it's authentic, they're gonna remove you. So do they also do it like Trade Z, where they use a picture to authenticate? Yeah, same they thing. Do, yeah. I just don't know how they do that. That's just amazing. Um, do they have any requirements on pictures? So they can authenticate or nope. like, oh, I need to see a picture of the tag or anything nope. like that. They recommend you taking a picture of the tag, but right. they didn't, it's not a requirement because that'd be, in, that would be impossible to control. Again, as we were talking about on trades yesterday, they have like a 99.7 per success rate on authenticating via pictures. Like, how do you even do that? I want to know. That's amazing. Okay, Blue Sky Style once said, I'm literally listening to Prime <laughs> Free Music right now. Right on. We're all Amazon people. <laughs> I think everyone is. Um, so another pro is that you can bump up your listing every seven days. So it's similar to Facebook. You can renew your listing. As soon as seven days hits, you click the button, and then it'll go back to the top with your listing. So like with Poshmark um, and eBay and, I mean, Etsy, even, Mercari. right? Mercari. You can relist your item every day if you want to, and that bumps up your listing to the forefront, right? Where everyone can see, oh, there's a fresh new listing. Yeah. Good morning, A Vintage Joy Life. Happy Wednesday. You guys, A Vintage Joy Life just reached a 1,000 followers, and she's doing her very first giveaway. If you guys want to go check out her page, give her a, a follow. She's super excited. She's been planning this giveaway for a long time, and it's really awesome. Um, yeah, so this is kind of interesting that they kind of you know, make you wait seven days. So basically you can only relist your item four times a but month. It, but it's much easier because you're only, you only need to click one button. Whereas yeah. like relisting is like a big process. Yeah, it's, it's easy to do, which is nice. Um, but it's, I mean, they're basically they're being fair and they're giving everyone a fair chance, which is actually kind of nice as well. Um, so I've been enjoying life, said yay, love giveaways. And a resource passion said, congratulations, a vintage joy life. Um, another cool thing is you can reach international buyers. Um, I know in Asia and Japan, there was like a huge streetwear movement. So this website really gives them access to buy these clothes, especially of their U.S. brands. So that's really cool. Whereas Poshmark is only the U.S. Totally, yeah. And also like sometimes... You know, oftentimes, like, internationally, their currencies are stronger than ours. So, so you know, they're getting good deals. Okay, Alan Thrifter, happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining happy us. Happy Wednesday. Um, okay, one of the cons we already talked about is that you have to calculate your own shipping costs for every item. But we recommend using, you know, like, Pirate Ship or something. Um, but, you know, make sure to check out FedEx and uh, UPS other shipping carriers yeah. as well and make sure if you're selling shoes make sure you weigh them and you measure them because I would not know how much it would cost to ship a sh pair of shoes yeah 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 so you don't uh, want these yeah. to dig into your profits not knowing the exactly. right amount of shipping to charge good exactly. morning at at Leon thrifter good morning envious finds happy Wednesday um so again I mean it's a con just because like you have to do this extra work and they don't provide you a yeah. calculator to do it but it's not that bad here's another step of the extra work that you just talked about is that you've got to put in your tracking information every time you ship something out so literally you have to get the tracking info you gotta like punch it in and in order in order for you to get paid you gotta do that step you gotta take that step so it's really, it's extra work. It is extra work. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's a lot of work. Because yeah. Because if you sell 10 items, you're going to punch in all the items. And what if you get that number wrong, right? So, yeah. So that's one of the cons. Yeah, definitely. Extra work is always a con. <laughs> but again, there's three point, what? Over three million users. So, <laughs> all right. Remember the pros, right? Before the cons. All right. So another con is... There's been a lot of complaints from online sellers that their account has been suspended for no reason. So um, definitely a con. I, I don't really know anything about that. Yeah, as I was doing the research, uh, I have seen complaints from multiple online users saying that their account was suspended because their items are not authentic. 
Um, but then I, I don't know. They, they, I think if I were selling something that's authentic and they claim that they actually bought it from the retail store. So maybe there's something that they need to do before they suspend an account. I'm not sure, but that is one of the cons that I have gathered from the research. Yeah. I, th I mean, definitely if they're, if they're like, um, using pictures only to authenticate, I mean, yeah, that, that may be a little issue that there's going on with grail there. They may be creating more work for themselves, you know, than they, than is necessary, like suspending accounts and stuff. So again, we've only heard about this. Our account has never been suspended on grailed. We do have some items on there, but have we ever sold on grailed yet? Not yet. We we haven't, we've gotten offers. Yeah, we've gotten offers. We just haven't accepted yeah. them. So yeah. Um. So that that's it. And here's another news that I found out yesterday is that Grailed has launched a women's site called Heroin. Yeah, because if you think about it, even if this is a men's site, and yeah, men will go on there to shop, but like, who's usually shopping for men, right? Yeah. Women are. So why not bank on that? Why not bank on that market, right? So heroin <laughs> is also um, focusing on high-end women's items like trade seat. But the thing, the weird thing is like when I went on it, it kind of looks like Poshmark. They're using the Poshmark maroon color, which I kind of think is, I don't know. It's a direct competition. I know, but I don't know about that. Like, if you're branding, you shouldn't be using their color. Good morning, David McMillan30. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I know what you mean. If you are doing a good job branding, now Michelle has 15 years experience with branding and marketing, you should do your research. And if you see your competitor is using maroon, you should definitely yeah. not use maroon. You're not standing out from your competition. Exactly. And last but not least, back in the 90s, any of you guys watch The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? That used to be my favorite show as a kid. Like, I just love the show. This is Will Smith holding sneakers saying, some kid will pay $800 for these in 2013. It's probably more now. And honestly, <laughs> probably like, yeah, probably like a couple grand now in 2020. That's crazy. So hold on to your tight to your sneakers, guys. <laughs> the older, the better. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Look Look at your uh, family and friends' closets for these 90s shoes and put them on grail. Get some money out of them. <laughs> put them on consignment. Um, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, hopefully, like, I don't know if any of you saw on grail. I didn't hear any comments that you did. So hopefully you learned something. Check out this platform if you have any cool streetwear men's clothes. Um, it's definitely some people do really, really well on it. So something to consider. Um, if not just to know that this is part, this is out there, this is your competition. And um, have a wonderful Wednesday. Kick butt. Our goal today, well, how many items did you list yesterday? I don't know. Is, is that, does that mean zero? Yeah. Okay, so we listed zero items yesterday. We're being, we're being, um, we were working trans on something Transparent. Else. <laughs> and it always affects our sales. When we do not list 17 items a day or any items a day, our sales go down. So last week, our sales dipped. This week, um, we're working on reorganizing all our books. So we sell books on Amazon and eBay. And so because we didn't relist yesterday, we're gonna do that today. And tomorrow we'll work on, on organizing our books. Um, so try to get it, get your uh, relisting you know, going on today. Let us know how it goes for you guys. Try to hit 17. Thanks again, Bill, for the number. And we will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful Wednesday.